1888, October 21st, 1888, the foundation of the Swiss Social Democratic Party is formed. 1944, World War II, the city of Aachen, A-A-C-H-E-N, falls to American forces after three weeks of fighting, making it the first German city to fall to the Allies. So fucking A, 1944, we took the German city of Aachen, 1591, 1591, Nij Megan surrenders to Earl Meritius Van Nassau. Yeah, that's what, that Nidge Megan, Nidge Megan, motherfucker, yeah, you, you need to recognize who Earl Meritius Von Nassau is, the fucking Nidge Megan, who the fuck is Nidge Megan think he was, who is a fucking surrendering, quitting motherfucking fool on October 21st, 1591, now the great general strike in Russia, I'm not sure if that was the 20th or the 21st, I do... Know that it was 1905. It was definitely 1905. Here it says October 7th, but it says October 20th, but then it says October 21st. I don't. St. Petersburg, I don't. Portland cement is patented October 21st, 1824. Holy shit. I like those old ass dates, I'll tell you that much. 1824, Yorkshire, England. Joseph. Aspden, Aspden, old Joe Aspden, the fourth debate between Nixon and Jeff K, they clash, but they again, they're talking about Formosa and the Picadilla Islands and fucking Nixon just keeps on, you know, kind of prodding Jeff K, the one's an ex-VP and Nixon actually was bragging, you know, there was, I did watch some of that debate today and there is something Nixon is bragging about how they made more advancement on civil rights and a whole fucking host of issues at the very end he just kind of rattles off like five six seven progressive um just uh, overarching progressive shit that him and Eisenhower had accomplished for America so 2012 George McGovern the the racist he dies in hospice care, and he had been suffering many medical issues. So, hallelujah, fucking George McGovern is motherfucking dead. William A. Mitchell was born October 21st, 1911. He's the one who made Pop Rocks and Cool Whip and Tang and Jell-O Gelatin. He's an American food scientist. Can you imagine William A. Mitchell? We need more American food scientists. Look what he, a Cool Whip, one of the best damn fucking Cool Whip, mother, pop rocks, fucking fun, put it in your mouth, popping, 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 tang, tang, quick set jello gelatin. Okay, not as great as pop rocks and Cool Whip, but motherfucking, how can you have pumpkin pie without Cool Whip? You can't, and there's nothing that compares to fucking Cool Whip. You either got Cool Whip or you got dog shit. And that's it. Those are the only two categories. 1914, 1914 Samuel W. Alderson was born. 1914, October 21st. Dies at 90 years. Yeah, American physicist and engineer who invented the crash test dummy used to test the safety of cars and parachutes. He was born. That was him. Yes, that was him. Samuel W. Alderson, right? Crash test dummy. 1833, Alfred Bernhard Nobel. Alfred Nobel was born today, October 21st, 1833. And he died at 63 years, you know, age. So that's Swedish chemist and inventor who had invented blasting oil and dynamite. And Alfred Nobel is the Nobel Peace Prize, which is ironic, is it not? 1854, Florence Nightingale and a staff of 38 nurses are sent to the Crimean War. The Crimean War, 1854-1520, explorer Ferdinand Magellan, his fleet, reach Cape Virginies and become the first Europeans to sail into the Pacific Ocean. That was 1520, October 21st. 
The 2005 images of the dwarf planet Eris, E-R-I-S, are taken and used in documenting its discovery. The meter is defined. I thought that was yesterday. In 1895, liquid air for refrigeration and other purposes, largely produced by machinery invented by Carl Lindy, was reported. 1895, 1950, Ronald E. McNair, born 1950, October 21st, dies at 35 years Old Ronald Irwin McNair was an American physicist and astronaut, the second black man, black person to fly in space. Why did he die so young? 35. 1986, was he on the Challenger? Is that what happened? 1096, Sultan Kilija Arslan of Nicaea defeats the first Crusaders. Hell yeah, Crusaders trying to do some crusading shit. Fucking Sultan fucking crushed him 1096. A Seljuk Turkish army successfully fights off the People's Crusade. <laughs> the People's Crusade. It can't be. 1925, the photocell device, first U.S. public demonstration by Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company at the Electrical Show at Grand Central Palace in New York. The photocell was used to count objects by acting as a sensor as each object passed through and interrupted a beam of light. 1978, Rhodesia Gorilla's death toll at over 1,500. 1923, the first planetarium opens at Deutsche Museum in Munich, Germany. 1959, the Guggenheim Museum, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, opens in New York. Frank Lloyd Wright, what a Guggenheimer museum. 1959, Contra Revolutionaries bomb Havana. 1964, Abebe by Kila of Ethiopia runs a world record. 2-12-11.2 to beat Britain Basil Heatley by more than four minutes and win the men's marathon at the Tokyo Olympics. The first athlete to win the Olympic marathon twice. It was 1964. 1910, Los Angeles Times. A bomb explodes in the LA Times building, killing 21, injuring many more. October 21st, 1949, female federal judge... What appointed? Yeah, Harry S. Truman appoints the first female federal judge in the U.S. Bernita Sheldon Matthews from Hazelhurst, Mississippi. Hazelhurst, Mississippi. 1921, President Warren G. Harding delivers the first speech by a sitting U.S. president against lynching in the Deep South. The first one, 1921, 101 years ago. 1520. Joe A.O. Alvarez Fagundes discovers the islands of St. Pierre and Miquelon, bestowing them their original name of Islands of the 11,000 Virgins. 1965, Walt Disney Company plans Walt Disney World Resort Orlando. Disney buys 27,000 acres of land on the outskirts of Orlando, Florida, using dummy corporations to stop land speculators. From pushing up the price for $5 million, new story leaked by the Orlando Sentinel. 1967, Vietnam protest, 100,000 Americans march on the Pentagon. 1967, 683 people are arrested, including Norman Mailer and two United Press International reporters. 1392, Japanese Emperor Go. Kamiyama abdicates in favor of rival claimant Go Komatsu. He just saw the error of his ways. Ah, I see the ah, just 1392. Woo, that is a while ago. 1986. The ozone layer. Satellite hookup, Antarctica, something I don't know. 2019, Australia's biggest newspapers all blank out their front pages in protest. Against press restrictions. 2011, President Obama announces troop withdrawal from Iraq, uh, Iraq. The war began in 2003 with 150,000 American troops. 4,400 U.S. soldiers were killed and over 100,000 Iraqi civilians were estimated to have been killed. What, total? I thought it was um, fucking a million. 
but I guess a hundred thousand is like, oh, it's between a hundred thousand or a, a million. Madonna's book Sex goes on sale 1992, October 21st. 1993, Gary Gas Parov defeats Nigel Short for the chess championship. 1600, Tokugawa Ieyasu defeats the leaders of the rival Japanese clans in the Battle of Sikigahara and becomes Shogun of Japan. 335, Roman Emperor Constantine the Great rules that Jewish people are not allowed to purchase and circumcise Christian slaves. 1978, Australian civilian pilot Frederick Valentich vanishes over the Bass Strait south of Melbourne after reporting contact with an unidentified aircraft. 1995, Doja Cat, American singer, rapper, songwriter, is born. 1555, English Parliament refuses to recognize Philip of Spain. As King, 1803, English scientist John Dalton reads his paper on the absorption of gases by water to the Manchester Literary and Philosophical Society. First outline of his atomic theory, 1861, the Battle of Balls Bluff. Were you there at the Battles of Balls Bluff, Virginia, Leesburg, Harrison's Island? 1864, the Battle of Westport, Missouri, Kansas City. So there's some Civil War battles, which I don't know much about. But I bet you I will love both of those battles. 1878, German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck delegates the end of socialism. That was 1878, October 21st. I wonder what he's about to do. 1918, Margaret Owens sets world typing speed record of 170 Words per minute for one minute. 170 words per minute. Goddamn Margaret Owen. Margaret Owen is a motherfucking Red Bull. 1921, former Hungarian King Carl stages a second attempted coup and is arrested. 1969, bloodless coup in Somalia, National Day. 1970, Nobel Prize of Peace awarded to Norman E. Borlaff, 1970, Bernadette Devlin is released from prison, having served four months of her six-month sentence for riotous behavior, 1986. IBM reforms in South Africa. The computer company, I hope. 1986, Republic of Marshall Islands signs Compact of Free Association with the U.S. 1987, Senate debate begins rejecting Robert Bork's Supreme Court nomination. 1988, Philippine former first couple Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos are indicted on racketeering charges. 1989, Buck Helm is found alive after being buried for four days in San Francisco uh, in a San Francisco earthquake. Buck Helm, 1989, B. Tram Lee and Peter Bino purchased the Denver Nuggets for $65 million. It's the first black owners of a major sports team that happened in 1989. Denver, Nuggets, Colorado.